Why? You were not a believer early in your life. Why? It was the way I was raised. I was raised in this uh, remarkable environment by a drama professor, father, and a playwright mother, uh, surrounded by theater, music, the arts. Uh, they were doing the 60s thing, except it wasn't quite the 60s yet. And I was exposed to all kinds of fascinating ways to learn about life and the world and uh, ideas. Uh, but faith was not really on the list of things that were talked about. It wasn't that faith was put down or considered uh, inappropriate for other people. It just didn't sort of enter the conversation in my childhood. Did it exist in your mind as a question? Oh, I had glimmers of something, some longing outside of myself, some sense that maybe there was a God up there that I might be able to reach out to. What brought you as an adult then to faith? Well, first, as an adult, I walked very far away from faith. I went from being sort of well, vaguely interested, but not really, uh, to becoming an atheist. Uh, as a scientist studying physical chemistry, quantum mechanics, I became convinced that everything about the universe could be described by equations. So what changed that for you? Well, I changed my life plan from physical science to medicine. And when I went to medical school, the ideas about death and dying, which had been rather hypothetical, became very real. You can't be in that environment, sitting at the bedside of people who are facing the end of their lives, without having it affect you. Did you set out to find God? or to find that there was no God. I set out to prove that my atheist position was correct. I set out to try to find out what really were the rigorous arguments that I assumed were there that would rule out any possibility of God for a thinking person. You must have found many of them. <laughs> I found some. Many of them were ones I had cooked up in my own mind. But the harder I looked at them, the flimsier they were. All of us human beings have a sense that there is such a thing as right and there's such a thing as wrong. What a curious thing. Where does that come from? If you were looking for evidence of a God who cares about human beings, not just a God who started the universe in motion and then wandered off somewhere else, wouldn't this be an interesting place to find him? Basically as something written within our hearts, universally in humankind, making us different from other species, and calling us to be good and holy, pointing us as a signpost, if you will, towards something outside ourselves that is much more good and much more holy than we can imagine. Did you have at some point a born-again experience? When people talked to me about born-again, I didn't know what they were really referring to when I was growing up. But yes, I did have a moment where I became a believer. I had struggled for two years with this debate within myself, gradually coming to the conclusion that belief in God was the most plausible of the choices, but that it couldn't be proved. And after many months of struggling with whether to make that leap, uh, on a beautiful fall day, hiking in the Northwest with my mind a little more clear than usual because there were not the usual distractions, I felt I could no longer resist. And I became a believer that day uh, in the sunshine, in the shadow of the Cascade Mountains.